Hello and welcome to my new video. If you're new here, hi, I'm Lex and today we are doing an island tour of the island of Cinnamon. This island is truly out of this world. Ah ha ha ha. It is a moon themed island, a starry city on the moon. I think this entrance is so clever, by the way. You come in, you have to get into your astronaut get up, you know? I'm hoping that's what this is. Let's see. Oh yeah, I'm feeling it now, Mr. Krabs. Also, there are shooting stars tonight, so kudos to Leah, Pumpkinella ACNH on Instagram for keeping an eye out on that. The detail on the island is incredible. I'm gonna sit here. <gasps> yeah, there's a star, okay. Anyway, this is super cute. Let me show you the map so you can see what we're getting into. All right, here is the Island of Cinnamon. The dream address is at the bottom of the screen. If you would like to tour along with me, of course I recommend. We have several residents here, Leah, then Luna, Leilani, and Lola. Then our villagers are Bam, Jax, I think is how you say it, Hopper, Fauna, Rodeo, Felicity, Eunice, Blair, Lucky, and Hans. I dislike Hans, but I respect that he's here. Clearly, we've got a lot of custom design pathing on the island. Let's get into it and check it out. Aside from the fact that this is just a really cool theme in general, I think it's also really nice to have as a theme because you get to use all of these items that you otherwise wouldn't use very often, these space-themed items that just don't make sense on most regular islands. You know, I feel like we use them for HHP more than our actual islands. Um, so sorry to Celeste for that. Well, look at this. You can get a really good look at the moon texture for this custom design pathing. All of the stars and Nova items around are so lovely. I also love this snowy road path, kind of making it, you know, feel like a city. We're really getting that vibe. I wish we could jump and like have low gravity effects, you know? Look at this little satellite, are you kidding? And this villager is home. I'm not sure if the villager homes have been decorated, so I'll go in and check it out. I think this is Eunice's regular house, but I can't remember. Um, It is funny though that it fits, like she's the little laundromat for our little space city. Thank you for your service, Eunice. I love the yard here. Look at the little moon poster in the background. That's so cute. I'm not really going in any specific direction either. We're truly just exploring right now. Oh my gosh, look, a little gas station. It says gas. Oh, and there's a little floating UFO, bro. That is cute. Here's this little area over here where you can actually refuel. Very cute. Love that there is a little, what is this called? Like a little rover? Really should have brushed up on my knowledge of the space items names before I toured here. This is so cute that you can see all of the little lights along the edge of the island. All the way to the edge to the beach. So pretty. Oh, we've got moon chests here. I think the road keeps you purposely from going out onto the beach, but you can see some decor over there with the crescent moon chairs, the asteroids. Very cute. We've got a little villager neighborhood here. I love all the crosswalks. This crosswalk just leads to a bench. You can safely get to where you can sit. And then we have this little walk where you can appreciate the neighborhood. Where does this go? I didn't even notice this incline when we were passing it before. So this is just like a little shortcut, a little cut through where you can appreciate the views. This is so stunning, by the way, the night sky moving behind the houses as we're walking. Oh, so pretty. I also love the moments of symmetry we have, like these two crescent moon chairs around the incline are so pretty. And we have our very first resident representative home. So we will go in and check that out. See how that's decorated, let's go. The home was not decorated, that's my bad. Look at the little parking space for their moon car though. Shut up, that is adorable. I love that all the cars around the city are, you know, consistently these little space cars. Also, I've somehow made my way back to resident services. This is where I woke up with Luna. Very cute surroundings. Oh, Nook's Cranny is right here. Oh, I went off of the sidewalk. Oh my gosh, I'm messing up. I was leaving my like permanent footprints on the moon's surface over there. Cute. I love the little snowman decor. What a pretty shooting star. This island is so cool. I love to see unique themes like this. Going this way, we've got some construction perhaps, something going on over here. They're extending the shopping, the little like market area. I love these party light arches too in use here. And this is from the left. If you leave the airport, this is what you find. We have a little moon bakery. 
Oh, Le Cafe Celeste. It's literally a little moon bakery, bro. A little moon cafe. Look at it. This is so cool. Oh my gosh. Heading to the left here. We can star watch, star see here. And then there's another little villager home over here. Looks like they have some work here as like a pizzeria maybe. They're definitely doing something. We'll follow this road up all. Imagine how long it took to get all of these star fragments and everything. Even going to Treasure Islands, this would have taken forever. Oh, some more construction. Of course that makes sense. The moon is a new development, you know? The city can't be complete already. Wow, this villager has their own satellite. They probably get really good cable. Their internet is out of this world. <laughs> oh, we've got like an experiment going on back here. What are we looking at? How are these effects happening? Is that the, is that inside the little sciencey tube things? That's so cool. What the heck? What a view. This is just stunning. So much illumination happening. I don't know if we can get into this area or not. Let me see. Yeah, I don't think we can. I think we're just meant to look. Leah, let me know if I'm wrong, but there is a tent down there. The newest villager, of course, is in charge of whatever's going on over here. All of the like yellow barrels are kind of stressing me out. Is there like nuclear stuff going on out there? I don't know. I don't know, but it's fascinating. Okay, making our way back to the right over here. I did not fully explore this area, so let's go and check that out. Oh, we've got another little villager home, I think. I think this is a different one. Yeah, it is. This incline wasn't here. This is adorable. I love this pathing. The like cobblestone, not cobblestone, whatever, the circular stones. This leads back to the first house we saw. So we've got this little elevated platform to kind of walk around, appreciate the view, which is always stunning. This like moon surface city is so, ah, uh, oh, it's interesting to like be able to walk around. And we can see a little bit of the beach out here. Very cute. We've got almost like a starry night sort of vibe in that custom design, a little moon lake. Also, we can appreciate this very dramatic view of the museum from the platform. I will also note that there is not a ton of terraforming on the island. The island is mostly flat, which makes sense, of course, for the moon, but that is very impressive to me. Leilani says, nice to meet you. How cute. Then we've got Blair over here walking around. Excuse me, queen. I want to go over to the museum, really appreciate what we've got going on over here. Yeah, this is so cool. Like, are you kidding? And look at the little UFOs. Blathers is set up on this island. Imagine how interesting it would be also to be able to examine, you know, like specimens from the moon. Imagine finding life on the moon. Blathers is probably head over heels for this island. We've also got a little kitchen here on the side. Very cute. Lots of space for seating. We're definitely getting the city vibe, even though it's got this super unique theme, you know, very unexpected sort of decor. It still does feel like a city, like a town island in Animal Crossing. So I think that's impressive. Being able to take a familiar idea and make it so new and different, have different items to kind of shape the theme is so interesting. Just heading to the left here, I see a beautiful little gazebo area over here. We will definitely check this out. Just places to rest here on the moon. Very pretty. And who is this? Oh, here's Luna. Luna says, hey. We'll head up here for another little view. Oh, we've got like a little control center here. I want to hit the button. Yeah. That felt intense. I don't know that anything happens at all because of it, but it felt intense. I do feel important now. And then there's also, there's these little barrels blocking our way, so we can't go over there. But we've got some stuff going on down here too. Oh, we can't go over there because it's, you know, a rocket about to, about to fly. So that makes sense. And also maybe I shouldn't press buttons. Oh, look, there's a little seating area here. Just kind of hidden behind Able Sisters. Also, we haven't even seen this Able Sisters. Hold on. I'm like silly goosing. Also, I love this little grape dish. And then this building is so cool. Very nice design. 
All right, headed down here. This is the Able Sisters setup. Of course, they're selling spacesuits. I mean, I guess if you're out here and you don't have a spacesuit, that's kind of unfortunate for you and you're probably not going to survive, but... Oh, this is right behind Resident Services. So we can see these little ice fences that are up. There's like a little parking lot, very convenient for the Able Sisters. Oh, we've got this active rocket over here. Another little spot you can climb. Oh, this is right behind Nook's Cranny. How did I see Nook's Cranny and not encounter Able Sisters? I'm kind of a silly goose for that. I love this little rocket here though. They've got a lot of activity happening on the island. Leah says, have fun. We're having the best time. Bestie, don't even worry. You can come out here and interact with the rocket. I also love this island because I don't typically get to uh, tour islands at night. I feel like daytime islands are much more popular. And Leah did say that she herself doesn't really prefer nighttime islands. So this is sort of a challenge for her, making this island and shaping it up, even though it was a time of day she doesn't usually vibe with. So that's super impressive, Leah. You did such a great job. Here is another little resident representative home. Guys, big news. There is a break in the wall here where you actually can come down and explore in this area. I did it. Oh my gosh. And here is uh, Leah again. Oh, how did Leah get over here? She's a better explorer than me. But yeah, I also didn't realize the first time that the campsite is over here when we we're looking at it before. So this is where the island campsite is. I think we've seen all of the important island buildings now. But yeah, there's so much going on over here. Look at this. These items are so cool. The technological advancement on this island is very impressive. We've got little moon volcanoes also. But yeah, this is just amazing. The assortment of items here is very interesting, very intriguing. I don't know, this island leaves me feeling very curious. I also just, again, think it's a really cool and unique theme. The moon texture of this custom design pathing is so impressive, which by the way, I will put the custom designs that Leah has provided me in the description for you. And you can check out Pumpkinella on Instagram. If you want to see more of Leah's work, it is so worth it. I also just realized that Fauna's house is on a cliff back here at the back of the island. Look at her, she's trapped. She's trapped on the little moon island. And I'm fairly certain we've done an excellent job of checking out the entire island. You can see the vibes, you can see the theme, all of the beautiful star items and illumination at play here. It's just, wow. Thank you so much, Leah, for having us on your island. I hope you all enjoyed this island as much as I did. And thank you so much to my members for your continued support on the channel. You all mean the world to me, so thank you. Until next time, besties, bye.